For the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins in the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniffing at the Madden Cheese as always. Got another glitchy pass play for you guys today. Today I'm be going over a pass play that I think I first went out, put out maybe like two years ago out of the Colts playbook. It's still a really glitchy pass play. The playbook that I'm focused on right now, though, is the Buffalo Bills. Uh, this particular playbook and the Chiefs are two playbooks that I've been trying to put a lot of time into because I know they're very popular. So if you guys want to see a full offensive breakdown out of this formation, Woo! hit the like button and let me know in the comment section. The pass play I'm going to show today, though, is going to be the strong wing drive. Now, something very important, because I'm running this for the fullback, you're going to want to make sure that you put your fastest receiving running back at the fullback spot. So for this team, it's going to be Matt Breda. We're lucky enough to have a 96 speed receiver, uh, and that's going to make this play super glitchy. There's a couple more pass plays that I probably won't get to in this video, so hit the like button in the comment section Woo! if you guys want to see a full breakdown of this offense. Other than that, like I said, we're going to pick the drive uh, on the defensive side. We're going to start off with cover two. We're going to work our way back like we always do. Now, as always, this video is brought to you by my coin sponsors at AOEH.com. If you guys want to get your Mutt team up and help this channel out at the same time, all you have to do is check them out. Discount code MONEY gets you 3% off of anything on their website. They do more than just Mutt coins. They do FIFA. They do uh, NBA 2K. They do just about every game you can think of. Rocket League. So if you guys play any of those games, check them out. Use discount code email to get 6% off. It's always guaranteed to be the cheapest coins on the market. Now, the most important thing when it comes to this particular play is going to to be the fullback and the fact that I can motion him out. Pretty much every single time I'm going to put the B route here on a streak. Uh, although realistically, you can do it with the A route. You can do uh, you can put the A route on a streak. You can put the B route on a drag. It really doesn't matter. But the easiest way to remember to me is just put the B route on a streak. I like the I like the A route as a drag and check down. I think the B route is kind of important. So we're going to put the B route on a streak, and then we're going to motion out the RB route. But you don't even have to do that most of the time. On, on this particular play, on the first time that I try this, I'm going to motion this guy out to show you guys how easy it is. Uh, it's also really important to run it from a hash mark, especially when you're running it against like a cover two like I am now. So one of the best cornerbacks in the game, this gets completely lost out here as Breda just completely smokes it. There wasn't really an underneath route drawing that cornerback down either, with the exception of uh, what the running back is doing in Moss. So if we watch the replay here, there really isn't an underneath route. It just This route's just glitchy, man. That's going to be the name of this video. It's a glitchy route. It gets outside of just about every single defense. As you can see here against cover two, and this is a cover two sink, which typically cover two sinks when there's nothing outside here will turn into a man match and it didn't even do that it just gets right past it and I can throw the ball about 10 to 15 yards down the field he's wide open for an easy one play touchdown and what makes this so glitchy is the motion itself if I don't motion this out if you just watch the running back you'll see I will get that man match look now where now the cornerback turns and runs with the with the receiver receiving running back even though I called the ball anyway but for whatever reason the second I motion him out he gets forgotten about by a lot of different defenses you're gonna see this in most coverages including man coverages and zone coverages Coverages, he's going to get completely forgotten about by this cover two cornerback as for whatever reason he just doesn't decide to cover him there now there I threw the ball a little bit late that's why it wasn't a touchdown I'll go ahead and I'll do that one more time like I said the B route really his only job on this particular play is to pull back the safety which he does a really good job of but like I said I mean there I also pass led to the boundary where I can easily just pass lead up and you can see we're having explosive plays every single time even though we're necessarily scoring every time we're having a very big play so we're going to pick that again we're going to continue with zone coverage we're going to do cover three this is one of the few where it doesn't score a one play touchdown but it still is a very glitchy play so let's go and pick that so we're going to run this from the hash again we always want to make our motion last because if I have to set up more of this play after I make the motion, it gives my opponent time to adjust to the motion. So once again, A route or B route, you can streak. On this particular play, I think the A route's best. As you can see, he just kind of streaks right up the middle there. The B route ain't bad, but you can, you know, you can get more from the inside tight on this particular play. So on cover three, might be better to do that, but ultimately this play is still glitching to the running back as you're going to see here once again. The running back will still get outside of this defense. There's a little bit of a bolt in the pass lead and you can see we're getting open underneath the cover three for a very easy catch and run so like i said always make that that uh, motion last make your adjustment and then boom we're going to have success here to the a route or to the rb route like i said i'll take the rb route because if i can make this guy miss even though i'm not if i can make this guy miss it's a very big catch and run but we'll do that one more time try to get this dude to miss like i said knocks obviously too you can see how far apart the the cornerback and the, the tight ends are because I can throw that right away, get a big catch and run right up the middle too. And if I have a fast enough tight end, I might be able to be going there. But you can see against cover three, there's two routes to get open. And then cover four is going to be the same way. So let's go and let's pick cover four regular first. It really glitches out cover four match. But let's pick cover four drop show two first. 
So same thing, same setup, although this time got to do that B route once again because that's going to pull back the cornerback. And then we're going to get open underneath that one more time, underneath that and outside for a very easy uh, catch and run once again. Only thing about this play is you don't really have the option for the tight end. The B route doesn't really do much, just pulls back coverage, but the X route will get open as well. So you do always have a second route, and then you got just gotta make sure you get this play out there quick. I mean, if I get out there quick enough, I might be able to get up the sideline and go on, but you can see it's not really working out there. So let's go and let's do this one more time. Like I said, I feel like it's there because this play really just gets outside, just gets forgotten by a lot of the, the zone coverages out here, and you can really get some big plays. Even against one of the best cornerbacks in the game, he's not doing anything to stop this. So if you think that's glitchy, just wait until you see what it does against cover four match. Completely destroys cover four course. So let's go and let's pick that. Exact same setup one more time. Exact same route one more time. Only this time, the tight end, for whatever reason, uh, just really pulls in that cornerback and lets this guy just he just passes this guy off to a superstar player who just can't keep up in a linebacker. So exact same setup. We're gonna motion this guy out. We're gonna put the B route on a streak, and you're gonna see how for whatever reason. This cornerback just once again completely forgets about the RB route, basically passes it off to the linebacker, and we just get a very easy play down the field. Now that wasn't a great pass, but you can see he just completely gets roasted. So for whatever reason, the cornerback here just completely bails and takes the inside uh, tight end, leaving the, the curl flat or the seam flat to take over and be in control. Now there I lobbed it when I probably should have bullet and pass led inside, but you can see he just completely is out of position based off the fact that he doesn't know he's supposed to cover this route until he's until it's too late. So that's pretty much it for all the zone coverages. It also has a lot of success against pretty much any man coverage. So it's gonna let's pick that on the defensive side. We're gonna start off with cover one. Cover one typically plays off. Uh, that's something that you're going to see. A lot of times this linebacker won't even come to cover out, but here against cover one, he does. So you can see we have a linebacker covering that running back one more time. And you're going to see once again, because of the speed advantage, we're just going to get right past that and have a very big play. Because once again, this particular route is very good against man coverage. Wheel routes very uh, work very well against man coverage all the time. Now against cover one, you don't even have to make that motion out. The RB route is a wheel route. And because of the speed advantage, he's pretty much just going to beat whoever's uh, in coverage pretty much every single time so this play here if you're going against a man coverage like that you just run it and i know you're probably thinking what if there's a safety over the top well we're going to go ahead, we're going to do that too we're going to go ahead we're going to match this against cover two man if anybody's wondering how this will work against a smaller defense that's what the run plays are for check out the first video so ultimately once again cover two man for whatever reason against cover two man the, uh, the, the linebacker doesn't come out. And it's not because the cornerback's covering him. The cornerback is not gonna cover him. This is gonna be even easier because once again, you got this guy wide open in the flat based off the fact that there's just nobody that motioned with him to cover him. Nobody motioned out to man him. Cover two man is the only defense that really does that. And that's one of the reasons I said, when you run this play, make the running back motion last because a lot of times, you know, your opponent will have a chance to man a line or something like that, but he won't if the second you motion it out, he doesn't realize right away, oh, okay, this is this is a play where the running back is gonna get out into the flat. They're gonna get caught off guard. They're not gonna have time to adjust and you're gonna have a very big play. And then last but not least, we have man zero. So let's go ahead and let's find something where the house is coming. Let's go ahead and let's pick the pinch bucko. It's gonna have the exact same success, only this time you're probably gonna to wanna to block the running back or block one of your tight ends. You're gonna to have to block somebody because you're gonna be at a disadvantage. Although there you can see it picked it up and then boom, we're just going right over the top once again. We have a much faster player. It's gonna be that easy. It beats any man, beats any zone coverage in a multitude of ways. That's it, that's the video. If you guys wanna see more videos like this, more uh, you know, full offensive breakdown of this offense, because I'm gonna have more, hit the like button, let me know in the comment section. Other than that, thanks for watching, man, my shit out. Need more help or just wanna show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.